Brenda, let's uh, talk a little bit more about, we were talking about the possible outcomes for if you were to launch a lawsuit. Some insurance companies offer an internal appeal process. Is that worth it? Usually not. So uh, sometimes people will see that and they think, okay, well, I'm just going to try again and see what happens. Most of the time, uh, those are denied. Every now and then we will look at a case and say, you know what, an internal appeal might work here because there's an obvious just mistake. So we might do it and it might be successful. But most of the time, if you want action, uh, a lawsuit gets their attention. All right. And so that's usually what we recommend. Okay. We have some more questions coming in. Tracy asks, can my employer fire me if I'm on short term or long term disability? Right. So the... Uh, this is a tricky one because there's always all kinds of different considerations, but generally no. Um, but that doesn't mean that they couldn't terminate you your first day back or if your long-term disability carrier uh, cuts you off. Uh, so if you're in a situation where you're concerned, looks like maybe they're trying to, to get rid of you while you're on long-term or short-term disability, you definitely want to see uh, a personal injury lawyer or an employment lawyer. And the earlier you do that, the better. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, because it does happen. It happens more than you think. What about if you get cut off? If you're on that long-term disability and then all of a sudden they come back and say, no, you're, you're done, it's over. Right, so that happens a lot when somebody's been on long-term disability for about two years. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the test changes from can you do your own job to can you do any job that you're reasonably suited for. And so again, same thing, you want to uh, speak to a disability or a personal injury lawyer, disability lawyer, as soon as you can. Usually they'll give you notice, like they'll send you a letter that says, you know, the two-year anniversary is coming up. We don't think you meet the new test. We'll be cutting you off in 60 days. Don't wait for that 60 days to expire. Come and see us and we'll look at your options. We will, maybe you need to see a specialist and maybe we can set that up for you um, to get the evidence that we need to support your continued long-term disability. So we fight those all the time. That's probably the most common is where somebody's on long-term disability and then they cut, get cut off. That's probably the most common kind of case that we deal with, with great results. I think bottom line here is, you know, we think of personal injury lawyers, we think of when you're injured in a car accident, for example. I mean, most people know, okay, I better call a personal injury lawyer. But in a situation like this, it's not the first thing that comes to mind. But it sounds like, like you've said, these are the kind of things that can be resolved quickly but you need the help of a personal injury lawyer. I mean, bottom line is if things are not going right for you, contact an expert. Yeah, that's right. And I mean, we do these claims all the time and you don't have to have an injury. You can also have an illness. You know, people think, oh, well, you know, it's a personal injury law firm. They're not going to deal with my illness. But, you know, there's all kinds of chronic illnesses what we deal with in the relation to long-term disability. And, you know, these cases have really good results most of the time. So you should at least have a free consultation Find out what your options are, and uh, then we can take it from there. All right. We have one more question coming in, and this viewer writes, if your doctor says that you can't go back to work, can your insurance company make you go back to work? Yeah, so that's, that's really what we're talking about. Your family doctor says you can't go back to work. The insurance company has its own doctors who look at the paper file and decide actually, yeah, you can go back to work. And that's where they're gonna cut you off or deny your claim and you're gonna need our help. Sometimes they send you to an actual, uh, an actual doctor and same, you know, usually same result. Um, and there'll be a com competition between the doctors and you're gonna need legal help if that happens. We do have one more question as well. This one from Diane, oh, great. she writes, after the two years of disability, if you can return to work, does the employer have to accommodate you and what happens if the employer says he can't accommodate you? Right. So that, it really depends on the workplace. So uh, different workplaces have different policies. If you're unionized, it might be different. But there are some workplaces uh, that uh, the employment contract says they have to accommodate you and they will. There are other workplaces, uh, some hospitals, for example, where if your illness or injury isn't uh, something that came from an on-the-job injury, uh, they won't accommodate you, and so they will push you to um, either, uh, you know, go go back on long-term disability or resign. 
So if you're in that situation, that's a time to call a lawyer too. There's, you know, there's way too many uh, configurations to give you a, a an accurate answer here, but it's definitely a situation where you'd want to talk to a lawyer, at least on a consultation basis, mm -hmm. to find out what your options are. All right. Always great advice. Uh, Brenda, thank you.